Building Enclosure Commissioning is a nationally accepted standard for verifying that the walls and roofs in new construction meet the owner's requirements. It helps the owner, the builder, and the architects avoid headaches during construction, and it can lead to a more durable building. It can reduce energy costs, and it can mitigate indoor environmental risks. The process starts with the commissioning agent working with the owner to establish the standards, which are then carefully checked against the architect's drawings and the contractor's submittals. Then the commissioning agent will go into the field as the building is built and observe the construction to make sure that all is done correctly and according to good quality. As a building enclosure commissioning agent, it is our duty to recommend to the owner which tests are most appropriate for each unique building. At DBHMS, we perform most of our testing in-house. In this site visit, we will demonstrate some of the performance testing that is available for scientifically verifying the performance of the building enclosure, specifically infrared imaging and enclosure tightness testing, often referred to as blow order testing. Infrared thermography is utilized as a tool to assist commissioning engineers in identifying deficiencies in the building enclosure, such as thermal bridges, insulation defects, moisture accumulation, and air leakage. These common deficiencies can cause comfort issues, maintenance issues, and excessive energy waste for building owners. Infrared scans are typically most productive when a large temperature difference exists between the inside and outside, as was the case in this site visit. Enclosure tightness testing utilizes sophisticated equipment to induce various pressures on a building's enclosure while simultaneously taking airflow readings. With the collection of this data, the overall tightness of a building as a function of the building's geometry can be compared against the owner desired tightness levels to verify the quality of the building enclosure. Infrared thermography and enclosure tightness testing are often performed concurrently so that air leakage sites throughout the building can be quantitatively measured through the blower door and qualitatively observed through infrared imaging. Infrared imaging inspections typically begin on the exterior with the building under normal operation. This allows for immediate identification of large anomalies in the building enclosure while simultaneously identifying penetrations in the enclosure that may affect blower testing. Similarly, an interior inspection is performed of all spaces in the building enclosure. This ensures that the building is properly prepared for pressure testing so that accurate results are obtained. Any safety hazards located in the building would also be identified at this time. Key items that we're looking for are open or cracked windows, mechanical combustion equipment, exhaust fans, hazardous materials, dampers, flues, and water traps that connect plumbing systems to sanitary waste lines. As part of the building preparation, mechanical equipment will be disabled. All openings in the building enclosure will be shut and latched, all interior doors will be opened, and all intentional openings, such as outdoor air intakes for ventilation systems, will be sealed. After building preparation is complete, an opening in the building, typically a door, is selected for testing equipment. Blower door testing equipment consists of a calibrated fan, digital pressure gauges called manometers, and a custom frame to block off the remainder of the opening. A laptop is often utilized to control the fan to ensure the accuracy of the results. Unlike infrared imaging, blower testing is best suited for calm weather with little temperature difference between the indoor and outdoor. It is critical that the necessary quality control checks are performed prior to testing to ensure that the test is aligned with ASTM standards. In this field visit, the testing equipment is activated to depressurize the building while simultaneously performing an infrared scan with a smoke wand. Because the building is under a negative pressure, air is forced into the building as if wind is blowing on all surfaces of the building from all directions at the same time. This enables the infrared camera to visibly see exactly where air is entering the building. In locations where conditions do not permit for infrared imaging, such as reflective surfaces, surfaces where the temperature differential is small, or images that contain extremely hot items such as boiler flues or radiators, the smoke wand can be utilized to visibly trace the airflow path into the building. Once all spaces in the building enclosure are analyzed with the infrared camera, we then move to quantitative airflow testing to determine the exact leakage rate of the building enclosure based on the geometry of the building. 
This leakage rate is often normalized by the amount of surface area binding the enclosure, so that buildings of different shapes and sizes can be compared to one another. Enclosure tightness testing is often performed over a range of pressures, both positive and negative, so that a regression analysis can be performed to obtain results with a high degree of certainty. Once testing is complete, test results are compared to the owner's project requirements for the building enclosure to determine if the project goals have been met. Further, utilizing the results of the infrared imaging in the smoke wand, the commissioning agent is able to provide the owner with a detailed list of localized air leakage locations so that further air sealing may be accomplished. By identifying the air leakage locations and the leakage rate of the building, corrective action may be taken to reduce occupant comfort issues, energy waste, and building maintenance issues.